All right, I'm worried about you guys, and I feel like I need to drop some knowledge on PAX today. I just got another call from another collector that made a mistake on buying a high-end 1986 FLIR pack, and it's very easily avoided, and I want to give you guys a couple of tips to help you not make the same mistake, okay? Um, number one, the information on PAX is out there, right? So you can research 1986 FLIR, you can see that there's a sequence, and if you know the front card of a pack, then you can likely predict what's in the pack, unless there's a sequence flip, which happens a couple times a box. So, therefore, if you've got Clark Kellogg on the front, typically, if the pack is good from good sealed box, that indicates a Jordan will show up in the pack, right? But not only do regular hobbyists know this, scammers also know this. So if you go on eBay right now, you see all these raw packs, all these raw 86 flare packs, not in a slab, not in anything. You'll, um, you'll see like Clark Kellogg on the front, possible Jordan. And they sell for like 500 bucks and they are all 1000% crap. Every one of these, every single time I guarantee you, I bet my children on this. If that pack is listed on eBay or even at a card show or even from a friend of a friend of a friend, if that's not in a slab or in a sealed box that's wrapped by baseball card exchange and also verified by email that the wrap is good by baseball card exchange, other than those two scenarios, that pack has been searched, that pack has been resealed 1000% of the time. Um, don't ever, ever, ever buy a pack on eBay or in person at a card show unless it's in a slab or in that situation with baseball card exchange. So, you know, this guy, he was, um, he's, you know, he doesn't know as much as we know about the hobby or 86 player. He just figures eBay is good. I trust eBay, the company. So they go on eBay, they buy this pack for 500 bucks. They rip it and it's just crap inside. It's just packed with mismatched cards, different conditions. And it's an obvious scam, right? Now you can get your money back, but it takes a while. It ties up your funds for a couple of weeks and it's pain. And um, not everybody goes to that effort, you know? So when it comes to, you know, junk wax packs that are like up to $5, you know, don't worry about that. No one cares. No one's faking those. There's millions of them. <laughs> millions and millions and millions of them. You never have to worry about those types of packs. But um, if you start getting into the, you know, couple hundred dollar plus, three hundred dollar plus, especially if it's wax, it's like resealable. Um, don't buy these ever. <laughs> Raw. Um, I've gotten burned personally. I took like a random gamble on it because I knew enough about 86 FLIR that I could recoup my costs, even if it was a bad pack. So it's on our channel, I actually ripped it open. I'm pretty sure it was resealed very well and it fooled me. I think I spent 800 on it, but the kicker is I got a PSA 9 Jaminski on it and got it signed by him. So it's a 910, it's the highest in the pop. And I got a few other 810s out of it. So I probably got $1,000 of value out of it, but not everybody knows how to do that or how to find these players. Um, so. You know, this doesn't just apply to 86 FLIR, just all high-end wax stuff. Um, you know, baseball card exchange is awesome. Steve Hart's been doing this for 40 years. They've got one wrong last year. They got a box wrong. But, you know, 95% of the time they're right, which is better than almost all of us. They know what they're doing. Um, so if you see a case sealed by them, it's good. And just make sure you verify. They got a website, contact them and everything. And they'll tell you, yeah, that one you see on eBay, photo match, we're good to go. Uh, but here's the other thing about packs. There's another thing you don't know that's a little scary, right? Um, when it comes to a pack, you can easily search this. For 86 Flare, for example, what do you think happens? Like, they, they pull these boxes open, right? You push it down. You see exactly who's on the front of the cart. So you, you take them all out and you say, all right, there's your Clark Kellogg. There's your Buck Williams. There's your Gus Williams. Anybody with those on the front, that's going to have a Jordan in it. And so what do you think everybody did? They, they took all those out of boxes and then they slabbed the packs and sold them for two, three grand. Packs legit, but the odds that it has a Jordan are very low. The only way is if it has a sequence flip. So if you're buying slabbed 86 Fleer packs, then, you know, 99 times out of 100, they're, they've already been factored in statistically um, and, and they're just not going to get a, a Jordan in them. And, uh, even a box that's been open could have been like repacked, right? So you can like take a pack from another box and Frankenstein another box together. Baseball card exchange is pretty good at snuffing that out. 
um, but they don't get it right all the time. So just be super careful. Just know like any open, any pack that's not in a slab or seal on eBay is just total junk and just scroll right past that. Um, but you know, if you want to get a slab just for nostalgia, that's fine. Pack's good. Just know you're not going to get a Jordan and any sealed baseball card exchange stuff. That's like over a couple hundred bucks. Hit them up on the website, send them the link, say, is this good? They'll get back to you in like a day. They're solid. So again, this is a public service announcement because I, I think I have heard this story two dozen times in the last year where they're kind of like, hey, I bought a pack on eBay. I think eBay's good. And, you know, I trust them. Um, just be careful. Just be careful out there. If you guys ever have a question about a listing too, I'm Boston Card Hunter on Instagram. Um, I live for this. I like helping people not get <laughs> scammed and collect the right way. Just hit me up. I'm happy to help you uh, every time. Um, or leave a comment here if you have any questions. I can go into other packs too, other sports. There's there's different wrinkles with all of them, especially the foil ones. Um, but I want to keep this video short and specific to wax packs. So hopefully it was helpful. Thanks everyone.